Welcome back. Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video, and in today's video, we are going to see what we can fix on here. So before I get into it, make sure that you like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. So today, what we're doing is we're going to try to fix this in the easiest way possible. Now, I have been doing biking vlogs, but those biking vlogs are not made public. So, um, as you may have seen and maybe some clips, you hear this. And I do apologize about the background noise. We got people moving all over the place and delivery trucks and all this type of crap. So I do apologize if you do hear background noise. But, um, yeah, so we are uh, doing this. Got to fix all this stuff up and, you know, all that fun stuff. Okay, so what do we got going on? Well, there's a lot of things that need to be fixed because I'm going to have to start working. And this thing here has gotten quite a few miles. So because it's gotten quite a few miles on it ever since 2017, um, basically it needs to um, need some repairs on it so it will make it to work and not break down and cause me to miss work to get the parts fixed and all that. So what exactly could possibly break down on this thing? Well, as you may understand or may assume, this tire here needs replaced. It really needs replaced. It's has been like this for over for over a year. Um because it's the back tire and it gets really worn down, you can kind of see there's some cracks in the tread. And um, now those cracks were caused because of glass. Because in neighborhoods and stuff like that, there's glass that um, that's constantly left out in the streets and nobody goes and cleans it up. And that glass gets in the tires and it causes the tires to go flat. Then you have to replace the tire. And that's not cool. So, you know, like what I said, I mean, you know, it's going to have to be replaced. And I do apologize about background noise. You guys are going to hear it from outside, but I'll try to speak a little loud so you guys can hear me, which you guys obviously can. So, let me go ahead and go over everything that needs to be fixed. Tire needs replaced. My rim here needs to be um, repainted. I need to paint this chrome because the rest of the body is chrome. Or is it silver? I think it's chrome. So I'm going to have to paint this chrome. And while I'm painting this chrome, i got to paint this chrome, paint all this chrome, and... Um, you know, I gotta paint this wheel chrome to try to get the paint off because when they were taking this from the United States to the island, um, somehow during the move, this was not wrapped. So somehow during the move, yellow paint or orange paint or dark yellow paint got on my tires. And kind of ticked off about that because it needs replaced. Um, my seat needs replaced, which isn't all that urgent. It does need replaced. It has dry rotted because of the mildew mold um, on the top part here. And, um, you know, um, I just need to um, basically just replace the seat. Now, I still got my license plate on here. That's cool. Um, and 
I have to replace, I mean, this needs to be tightened up. Just listen to that. That thing is rattling around. This thing should probably go up further, kind of reduce the rattling. But you hear that? Something's not tight. And these bolts are all rusted. These bolts are rusted. I got rust on my brake pad bolt. I got rust on my brake cable here. Um, I got rust on my kickstand, which was on the Walmart bike that I gave to my brother, which got stolen here. Um, um, this kickstand was on my last bike I had, and so because you know my old kickstand on this thing broke, so I went and got another kickstand, and um, I went and put the old one on here and this one here needs replaced because it's rusted you know it doesn't stay up but at least it holds the bike up which is okay um you know this this is good the frame's good um on the front tire here the front tire is in good condition um and there's no problems with that um but however same thing up here in the front. My brake cable needs replaced. Um, my entire brake cable needs replaced. Um, I need... This thing here was spoke lights that was on my bike years ago. That I got like in 2020 or something. And these are nasty. They're yellow. The battery I think is completely dead because I've tried charging the battery. And these just don't work anymore. So this is probably toast. Um, other than that, I mean, no other issues. Um, some, the grips up here are a little bit dirty. You know, everything's a bit dirty. There's some damage from when I flipped over here. Um, but other than that, I don't really see any other any other issues on the left side. Let's flip this around. Okay, so going on to um, the right side. So in regards to the right side, the right side actually has some issues. So my the right side on here, um, I'm gonna move out of the way and I'm gonna try to zoom in. So you can kind of see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna zoom in. All right. So let me get that in the shot. So as you can see, there is um, some crap on here. Now I am going to try, now I've tried hosing this off, actually hold on I think this actually might come off. Hold on guys, let me go get a wet paper towel we're going to try to clean this off. Alright so I got my wet paper towel, let's see if we can try to clean it off and look at that, it just comes right off. Now of course doing this, my mom's carpet's not the best option, but it actually just comes right off, believe it or not. Yeah, it comes right off. Didn't even know that, huh? Yeah, so this actually just comes right off. So, turns out the damage is not permanent. So. I just got to get some wet paper towels and um, and just clean this right off. But as you see, it's coming off, which is pretty good, you know. Now, of course, this is pretty filthy from not being cleaned for so long, and I don't have a hose, so I won't be able to actually clean it off with a hose. So I got to do this the old-fashioned way. Okay, so now. I'm going to spin the wheel a little bit, and now we can 
get a long part tire, which is actually pretty simple. So yeah, so it turns out that this is not paint. This is some kind of some kind of crap. I don't know how it got there. I mean, it, I mean, this could be paint. It very well could be paint. But the question is, is how in the heck could that get on there? That's what I want to wonder. That's what I wonder. Now, what makes me wonder is, did some uh, crazy person decide to take this out for a joy ride? For a joy ride. That's what makes me concerned is did somebody take us out for a joy ride? Because I mean, just look at that, it comes right off. I mean, it's right on my derailleur. Oops, we probably shouldn't, shouldn't mess with that in here. We don't wanna mess up the carpet. So we probably shouldn't mess with the direct, clean the derailleur too much. But it's good to know it comes off. So next time I have access to a hose, I can just clean it right off. All right. So, now that just kind of just wipes off. Um, yeah, and now it kind of wipes off. Now you can't even tell that it's really on there. I just need, I just need a hose that might be able to just hose it off. Now what I really need is some WD-40 for oil. Because that's what I need. Most urgently is oil. Because uh, the winter months are coming up. I mean, could it be possible that this is just rust on it? I mean, I have no idea, but yep. We managed to get that crap off best we could. So now it actually looks a little more better now. Now it's time to fix the brakes. All right, we're gonna zoom out. And we're gonna reposition the camera. All right, so now we have repositioned the camera. Now it's time to tighten this stuff up. So, I had a drunk alcoholic basically uh, put this together and my brother put it together. And, uh, yeah, so that's a little uh, backstory on what? Now, what we have to do now is use these hex keys and try to tighten these up, which these are actually not fully tightened. So we need to tighten these up a little more to make sure that the rattling in the hole, all this stops because it was, when I did my pre-trip, and noticed that <clears throat> now I'm gonna reposition the camera again try to zoom it in just a little more all right I need to pull the camera up just a bit Okay, so just need to rinse again, use the hex keys, make sure that they're all tight.
just pull this back away from the wall a little bit. So that way it's not scraping up against the wall. It's about as tight as it'll get around. Because the whole reason why I'm fixing this is because this is incredibly loud when I'm riding. It sounds like there's an actual car that's passing you. And it's pretty loud and everybody looks at me. And this bike looks weird enough as it is. And yeah. like this here is not all the way in. This bottom piece here you can't really get because I'd have to remove the tire just to actually tighten it. But this feels like it's tight enough. But we want to mostly focus on focus on this here. Oh, whoa! You guys just see that? That thing just got loose. And it tore the paint off. Man. You gotta be crapping me. Uh oh. That's not good. Oh, that just tore the paint right off, didn't it? That really tore the paint. Now you guys can't even see it, but the paint is completely torn. It completely ripped the paint off and now this is not even on there right. I'm gonna have to loosen this up and put this back where it was. because that's not good. All right, needs to be level with that. Well, typically like right there. All right. All right. I mean, man, if I knew they put this together back in 2018, Ooh, someone's going to be in trouble for damaging my, my frame. Now the frame is damaged, and I'm going to have to repaint it light blue. So actually now, this is actually now all good. This is tight. So now, I, so now there shouldn't be any more rattling. Wow. It was this here that was causing the rattling. OMG. Now I gotta go and get the frame repainted. Light blue. Thankfully there's no letters there, but man, that drunk alcoholic, what he did, I mean, why would he not check to see if this was scratching up against the frame. I mean, seriously. Freaking drunk. He probably was drunk when he put this thing together. Probably didn't even check to... No wonder why my frame was scratched. Yeah, yeah you tell him, bird. You tell him, bird. 
Man. That really makes me mad. Fucking drunk. Alright, that's about as tight as it's gonna go. Now, actually, now, no more rattling, no more movement. The only thing that's gonna make noise is this thing, which I have done, so. Yeah. No more rattling. How awesome is that? No more rattling. But, we did suffer a casualty. My frame got scratched. So it looks like I'm going to have to replace that. I mean, not replace it, but paint over it. Man! Alright, now which leads us to the brakes. So, the brakes on this bike are a little bit finicky because, first of all, the cable needs to be replaced. And here's the thing. When I got this bike replaced in Virginia Beach, well, not the bike replaced, but the brake cable replaced, they just put an end to it. But the thing is, the brake cable's freighted, so it would basically poke the crap out of you if you uh, step back too far. And trust me, it hurts. Um, so yeah, and you know, and I think part of the reason why the back tire wears down. I mean, look at how low this tread is. There's not even an inch of tread. It's so low. Like, it's really low right here. And what's going to happen is this is going to wear down, and then I'm going to have to go, and then it's going to become flat, and then i got to replace it, and then I'll be broke down, and I won't be able to get to work. So, that's why... I am going to have to replace this tire. I'm going to have to replace this tire, and that's pretty much all I need to replace. So that way we don't have to worry about it going flat on us. Because it's likely how it goes flat. Because these tires are pretty good. They lasted me um, since 2017. So these actually have been doing pretty, pretty darn good. Um... So, here we have my um, pedals, which are all scraped up. But other than that, I mean, I don't really have any other complaints, but everything else should be fine. This is on there tight. Um, you know, this thing just really needs to be really cleaned out pretty good. I need to borrow somebody's hose and then just kind of just hose this thing down. Because it really needs clean. It is a mess. Alright, so let's talk about the brakes. What's going on with the brakes? So, when I use the brakes, okay? Okay? And after they are released, they should return back to their original position. Well, one of these brakes is basically rubbing up against the other. Which is not the way it's supposed to be. Let me check on this side, too. Yeah, these are supposed to be all the way down. These are not all the way down. These are supposed to be all the way down. This is off. That's probably why. Let me just loosen this and loosen enough to where I can pull it down. All right, right about there. Gonna hold this completely still because when I got these brakes replaced in 20, I think it was 18 or was it 19? I think it was 18. Um, when I got these brakes replaced in 2018, the guy who did it was rude and did it backwards. And he kind of had an attitude, and he was rude, and he did it backwards. So I had to go and fiddle with it, with it in like cold weather in a garage trying to get this to tighten. And it was a real pain in the butt. So, yeah. Word of the wise is, make sure you're doing it right. 
So now that the brakes are now on there properly, it's on there. Let me go ahead and let's hit them. All right, so. I mean, it's, it's kind of brushing up against the rim, but it's actually not that bad. So yeah, so we fix that. Um, what else do we need to fix? Uh, what else do we need to fix? We need to fix the front brakes now. And now we need to fix the front brakes now. Because the front brakes have the same deal. That is like that. And that's like that, but they're like in the center. But the problem is, is that I've never adjusted these brakes. Never. So let's see what the problem is. So I hit the brakes, right? Now I let off the brake. See how this, now you can't see it, but this one here, I can almost, whoops, I can almost poke this hex key in the gap, okay? Now this one here, that's not the case. I don't think it has anything to do with the shoes itself. I think because maybe the cable itself is not, it just might need loosened up just a tad. So here's how we're gonna do it. I'm going to, I mean, they should be like that. That's how they should be. They should be like that, but they're not. See, they should be like that, but when I hit them, right, this happens. They just return, this right one returns back, is still on the tire, on the rim, and I, it needs to just kind of move this way a little bit. Now let's see if I can fix it now. Let's see if now I let's see now if it's been fixed. Alright, so that's the way it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like that. Where they are not rubbing up against the rim. But this thing here. This actually needs to be tightened, which it is tight. But the problem is, why is it doing that? Oh well, my frame had some rust damage there. Wow, some rust damage in the front end there. Wow. Um. Yeah, so basically what I just need to do is, I mean, if it could just stay like that, that would be perfectly fine. But every time I hit it, if this is supposed to return, this is supposed to move like that. So maybe I need to loosen this up just a little bit. Yeah. I can't even get it. I don't even know what to, because the problem is if it's on one side, because they're not exactly, we're gonna use this as our, so right now, they're centered, okay? We're gonna use that as our little indicator. And as you see, it's off to the right a little more. So that means that this needs to be either tightened a little more better, which it is tight.
which I don't know why it's doing that. Could it be one? Could, could it be this? Is this what the problem is? Try something because if you s the brake pads not even okay right now it's on there okay when you hit it right but then it doesn't return it's like it's like either this here needs to, it's like this here needs to be adjusted. Maybe it's that that's causing the problem. Which you can actually see the bolts exposed. So obviously this here needs to be. This here needs to be readjusted. It's still, because this is supposed to be like that, actually. So maybe there's something, maybe. <sighs> this is quite frustrating when you can't seem to figure out what the exact problem is. Okay, so it's like that. That stays, that needs to stay like that. How come it is not returning to its original position? This needs to return to its original position. Unless something on here is loose. That's supposed to be on top of that. Maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. See, because they squeeze in, but then it doesn't return back. It doesn't return back to its original spot. Because if I, t if I loosen it, So every time I hit the brakes, I have to basically hit the front brakes. I have to basically um, do that, basically, every single time I stop by using the front brakes. And it's a problem. Because if you don't recall, this was actually completely misaligned. This was 100% misaligned. So I probably, we probably should fix the alignment too. All right, so I looked at the alignment and this just needs to move over by just a little bit. So to do this, we have to actually stand in between here and we're just gonna I'm gonna have to do it the other way because this ain't working. Okay. 
there's the other X key. Alright, so stand like this. Hug your legs together. This just needs to turn. Just a little bit to the right. And see if it's aligned now. So I'm going to use my ruler, put it right in the middle, and it should be perfectly aligned with it should be perfectly aligned which now it's perfectly aligned so now we can now just tighten it as it is So now it's perfectly aligned now. Now we're just going to check it again. And it's aligned. So now we're just going to tighten this. We want to make sure it's super duper tight. This is a pain in the butt because you've got to make sure it's super duper tight. Which it kind of looks like it's not. Is it really aligned? That's the question I'm asking. So it's completely straight. But my steering, I'm not quite sure. It, we might have turned it too far. We might have to turn it the other way a little bit. Just a, just a very, just a smidge. Because from where the front of that is, it needs to go back this way just a little more. Make sure that the wheel is straight. Right, now let's see if it's aligned. And it looks like we're going to be uh, losing some uh, some footage. So anyway, guys, um, thank you guys for watching. 
Uh, make sure you guys like, you guys comment, you guys subscribe. After I fix the alignment, just make sure things go with the alignment. I'm going to put air in the tires, and that's all it's going to be for the day. Anyway, guys, whoops, I'm super duper close to you. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and sub, and I will see you guys in another video. Peace. Looks like we're going to be uh, losing some, uh, some footage. So anyway, guys, um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure you guys like, you guys comment, you guys subscribe. After I fix the alignment, just make sure things go with the alignment. I'm going to put air in the tires, and that's all it's going to be for the day. Anyway, guys, whoops, I'm super duper close to you. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and sub, and I will see you guys in another video. Peace. I was just filming a video, and what happened was, is I ran out of footage. So now I'm doing this on here. So, um, so, uh, so here's what's going on. So I'm trying to fix the alignment on this. And I'm trying to make sure the alignment's all right. And I'm not too sure. So what I'm just going to do, and I don't even know if the alignment's even straight. All right. So I'm sitting here. I look down. The alignment should be straight, but why does it not, not look like it's supposed to be straight? Like it's not straight. Okay. So it's straight. What the alignment looks like to me. As I'm riding, it should be level with me, right? It shouldn't be crooked. It seems like it's off to the left a little more. Let's see if we can fix it. Okay, so should be aligned, but can't tell if it is or not. Okay, so here is the center of this. It looks like it needs to go more to the right just a bit, but I don't know if there's any other way I can fix that. I don't know if there's any other way I can fix it. Because there's like no other way. The only way I'm gonna be able to fix it is if I, I mean, it's a line, we're aligned, but it's just off just a little bit. But you know, it's whatever, you know? Just have to make do. So I'm just gonna, Tighten this back up. <clears throat> Which it is. Because I had moved, and what happened was, is it, it just didn't, um, It just didn't uh, go on right. Okay, so now we fix the alignment. I wonder if this here is straight. I mean, it looks like it is. Okay. Oh well. So now we're gonna put air in the tires. I'm gonna put this back up against the wall and we'll put air in the tires. Yeah, we might as well leave it facing forward. The problem is if someone knocks into it, it might fall on its side. There we go. It's whatever. It's whatever, whatever, whatever.
think it needs some more air. My back tire is fine, so everything is good. So we can go ahead and put all of our stuff away. But if I had some more zip ties, I'd probably be able to put the license plate back on, but oh well. Actually, I probably can do that. Let me see. Do you have any zip ties? All right, we got one. Zip ties. So let's go and let's put the license plates back on. Although my license plate's filthy, I could probably rinse it off in the sink real quick. I'm kind of bent up too. Let me see if I have two, two more, because I'm going to need two more to actually do that. Well, it looks like that's all we got. Zip tie. Nope, we got, we got two more. All right. I might only just need one. Really, it really should. This is all backwards. All right, that 
as good as we're going to get it. I was able to get this one in, why can't I get the other? Well, that's the best we can do it. best we can do it. All right. License plate's up. Hello guys, thank you guys watching and follow me if you haven't already.